Hello everyone, welcome back. I am doing a quick studio test with my M1 Mac Studio, the basic model, 512K uh, gigabyte uh, SSD with 32 gigs of RAM and 24 GPU cores. Um, it's been working great, but this is still on uh, the Monterey operating system so I'm just doing a test on the different cameras and Ecamm Live the version 3 what was it 310.6 I believe let me take a look real quick yep 310.6 so anyhow uh, let's go through the cameras see how I look so this is the zoom on the Z30. This is the puppy cam with Wanda. Let's get a close-up shot of her. This is the ZFC, by the way. Um, let's go back here. This is the Z30. This is the zoom on the Z30. This is the zoom. Well, it's it's kind of a zoom it's halfway between but this is the Z50 and as you can see this is from my 50k inch uh, 55k inch Q OLED TV the S95B and I can go over here so you can see I'm running at 30 FPS there's a better view of the uh, the TV right here and I can also, if I wanted to, go up here. System preferences. I'm going to go to the dock menu bar. Remove the top part. That way you can see the full screen. It looks much better. And then uh, go to the A6100. Here's my uh, desk. And you can see the microphone, the Xenia USB mic. It's kind of cheap, but it works great. There. Sony A7C. This time it's not on mute. And that's why I do these uh, setups to make sure everything is working all right. And of course, uh, the zoom right here. So these are just the colors. Just I haven't done anything with Ecamm Live settings. It's all running at uh, 4K 30 FPS. And uh, you can see as I change the cameras, some black out. Okay, so the Z30 might be overheating. So if I just hit it on, it comes back on. So let's see how. This is the one thing I say. Uh, I know you can put a fan on it keep it cool and stuff I got the battery door open but it times out and it could be the 30 minute time limit okay so even if I only been recording for like five minutes uh, if the camera's been on for 30 minutes uh, it will time out so it's either overheating or it's timing out it's pretty cool in here I got it at uh, 24 degrees Celsius. Um, I don't know what it is. On, I, I think it's like 72 degrees here inside the room. Of course, I got a monitor and a TV on. Uh, so the heat should be uh, coming up shortly. But anyway, uh, doing this uh, quick video. And I'm going to compare it with the... Um, upgraded version to Ventura and see if I have to do any of the resettings on the uh, camera. So with further ado, I'll be back shortly and um, we see how different operating systems have had to reset anything in the um, Ecamm Live. So anyhow, I'll see you in a little bit. 
Okay, folks, welcome back. Um, got everything hooked up. The new operating system. It said it lasts for an hour. It only lasted for about maybe 40 minutes. So the M1 Max, Max Studio, does a fantastic job when upgrading. So this is the Nikon Z30. Do I look a little bit better or do I look the same? Uh, if I go to, let's say, on the zoom part, does it look better? Does it look the same? If I'm moving around, it, it looks pretty good. If I go to the A7C, which is over on my right-hand side, you see any stuttering, a little shakiness? Yeah, it, it does that sometimes. But, I go to the zoom, do I look better? So this is all at 4K30, not 4K60, I believe. If I go into uh, preferences, yep, it's 4K30. Okay. And then, of course, if I go back to the uh, puppy cam, no one is there. You'll see a little noise when I zoom it, but that's because I have the light off. And, then of course, uh, there's my settings right there, but I'll turn this off so now you can see the video or, you know, the TV itself. It looks pretty good. I may have to reset that a little bit. Uh, might expand a little bit more. I don't know. Just leave it like that. How's that? Good enough? Good enough. Anyhow, and then, of course, the A6100. I'm just testing all these out in low light. Now I'm going to turn on the light. See if that does anything. So here's the A7 zoom with the light. A little bit further back. This is the uh, 40 millimeter, by the way. And uh, it's the, uh, I think it's the 2.5. And let's see, then of course, this is the f2.8 G lens, 16 through 55 for the desktop. And of course, there's a wider field of view. You've seen this, this is uh, using the uh, Z50. So I'm glad to have that back in action. Here's the puppy cam with the ZFC. And the, uh, I believe it was the 28 millimeter. Yep, 28 millimeter. And it's the uh, special edition lens. So you see, it, it looks a little bit better than, uh, you can still see some noise. But uh, then, of course, I'll go back to Z30. There you go. And this is the 28 millimeter also. So, but this is the uh, regular black edition. It looks good. And if I turn on the light, which I will. Ugh. And there you have it. So, do I look better? With more light, even with the uh, sunlight coming in through the window, more light is always better. Uh, go back to the zoom, go back to uh, the puppy cam, should see less noise, yeah, it looks a lot better now. And of course, the uh, S95B looks better, A6100, so more light is always better. Everything looks good. Um, I'm going to put these two videos together, combine them, so it's going to be kind of a long video, about, about 20 minutes, I don't know, but uh, before and after uh, from uh, the previous operating system, Monterey, to the Ventura, and uh, I'm looking at the Z30 now. I can see the box around the face. I can see it around the eyeball. 
So everything looks good. I might move the cable back like this. Nah, just leave it alone, Randy. I should have gotten the other cable, but anyway, that's good enough. So, hope you like this video. It's just to show you what different light can do with different cameras. So on this setup, I only have one full frame, which is the A7C. This one right here. The rest are uh, APS-C. Z30. The ZFC. The uh, Z50. Sony A6100. They're all APS-C DX cameras. They work great. Um, full frame gives you more light, better picture quality, but for most people, they only need one camera or maybe two, you know, like a webcam or from your um, monitor, you know, like on my LG monitor, but they show a lot of noise on that too. So that's why you don't use it. But uh, anyhow. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for any more videos. Um, just uh, keep on trucking. I hope this kind of helps you a little bit in learning about cameras on the different cameras how they look how you decide which one to buy you could talk about these three right here the uh sony zv10 the canon r10 or the uh nikon zfc with the uh, grip so you know there, there's different cameras they all do different purposes but uh, small a little bit larger a little bit bigger actually this is has more girth to it and this is more flat but uh, and with the a7c yeah, I think it's a little bit smaller than the uh, Nikon ZFC. But uh, anyway, I like showing these cameras uh, just to show you some things. Also, if I just show you this a little bit, like I did on the Intel one, show you how fast this turns on. So, yeah, just like that. And right now, you can't see it, but I'm showing the A7C. And get a little focus in. There you go. And of course, I can do myself. See if I can get... Ah, there he is. There he is. So I see with the reflections, it's kind of bad. I'll do it like that. Now you can't see it. Okay. Enough of that. Turn it off. Closes. Cleanses it. So you see, you can have cameras to go. You can have cameras to uh, stay in place. I got all dummy batteries now with my studio cameras even with the zfc so and the z30 the a7c the z50 z5 they all have it uh the r7 has a dummy battery the z72 the z62 they all have dummy batteries. This helps in uh, saving the uh, longevity 
of the batteries because sometimes uh, they go out of sale. So I always carry like two or three or maybe four on uh, the uh, ZV-10 and the A6100. I have about eight of them. But uh, basically I've been shooting more on the Nikon and the uh, Canon, you know, for going out and taking shots. Now if I want great resolution, I take my Z7. Uh, the glass is fantastic. Um, full frame uh, for portability I'll take my a7c and uh, I have small pancake lenses to go with it so I have the uh, 24 millimeter the 40 millimeter and 50 millimeter which are excellent I think the only thing I'm missing on here is maybe the 90 millimeter or uh, the macro I'm thinking about that for the Sony. Um, on the Nikon, I don't know on the lenses. Uh, basically, I got everything. I'm not into wildlife. Uh, I do have on the Canon the 100 to 400. So if I do wildlife, it'd probably be with the R7 or the R10. And. Uh, because they're, they're small candle or cameras. They're great for autofocusing. They can do the birds, the animals, the cars, the people. And I'm waiting to see how the R6 II comes out. But then I'm also looking at the A7 V. Uh, but I'm more of a video shooter. So I'm not a stills. But you can mix the stills in with your video so anyway um, thank you for watching stay safe keep smiling until next time goodbye